Hey guys, this is Kronos, just bringing you a quick video about the basic functionality of a PeerCoin wallet. You can download your own PeerCoin wallet at PeerCoin.net, and you'll need one in order to get started with PeerCoin. I'll be demonstrating the PeerUnity wallet software, and that's the wallet software we recommend for most users. Let's jump in now. The first thing you'll notice when you open your wallet software is that it will immediately start downloading the blockchain onto your computer. A small indicator in the lower right corner of the screen will show you the progress on this. Once you see the green check mark, you know it's done. On my machine, it took about half an hour to download the entire blockchain, but that could be different on your machine depending on the speed of your internet connection. This is still much faster than on alternative coins such as Bitcoin or Litecoin, which have much larger blockchains. Once it's done, you'll be able to check the balance in your wallet by checking here in the upper left. I don't have any peer coins yet in this wallet because it's completely empty, so let's look at how to receive coins now. Click Receive Coins at the top of the screen. The wallet software automatically creates the first address for you because it knows you need to send peer coins to the wallet in order to start using it. However, the label hasn't yet been set. Right click on the label and choose Edit. I'm calling this label First Deposit in order to signify that this transaction is our first purchase of peer coins at an exchange and sending them to the wallet. Click OK. Now we have the address in the wallet, but it doesn't have any peer coins yet. Right click on the address and choose Copy Address. Now the address is in the clipboard and we can paste it into the exchange website or the exchange software in order to send peer coins to this address. Now let's say we want to receive peer coins from a second user. We don't want to reuse the same address because that user can look at the blockchain and see any other transactions on that address to see how many peer coins we purchased at the exchange. Let's click New Address instead. We get to select a label for this address, but we don't have to create the address ourselves. The software does that for us. Instead, just click OK. There is the second address in our book. To receive a payment from John, we'll just right click on this entry, select Copy Address, and send the address to John, perhaps by email. When he sends peer coins to that address, we'll receive them instantly. Let's go back to the overview page. When John sends pure coins to us, they'll show up in the unconfirmed section of the screen to show that the wallet software has seen the transaction, but it's not fully confirmed by the network. It takes about an hour for the network to fully confirm each transaction. At that point, you'll see the balance update with the amount of the transaction. Now let's look at how to send pure coins from the wallet. The first thing to do is to jump over to the address book in the upper right. Now you can see the address book here is currently empty because I haven't sent any pure coins from this wallet. Let's add a new address. Let's say, for example, that we're purchasing a video card. We need to set the address here that we receive from the person who's receiving the funds. I have a sample address that I'll throw into this box. For you, you'll have to talk to the person that you're sending the peer coins to and get the address from them in order to know what to put into this box. Now the address is in the address book, so it's going to be very easy to send coins to this address. Let's go to the Send Coins page. This is where you would put the address, in the Pay To box, but because it's already in the address book, it'll be very easy to fill out this form automatically. This small button at the right of the screen says, Choose Address from Address Book, so when we click it, it pops up the address book. We can select Payment for Video Card Address and press OK. This fills out this form for us. You can see the address filled in, and it also fills in the label for us. We just need to fill in the amount of pure coins we're sending and click send in the lower right. We get one last warning to make sure we want to send this number of pure coins because once it's sent, it can't be reversed. I don't want to send these pure coins just yet. Each transaction has a small fee, small amount of pure coins that's put toward the network in order to confirm it. So you might want to combine two transactions in order to minimize your fee. You could click add recipient in the lower left. This isn't done very often because you don't usually need to pay two people at the same time. But if you do want to send a transaction to two addresses, you would fill out the second address here and then click send. Oh, I'm not allowed to do this because I haven't filled out this form. Maybe I can click this red box here. Remove this recipient. There we go. Let's send the 10 peer coins now. I'm ready to send them. Uh-oh, I don't have 10 peer coins. Well, at least you got the idea. One more thing I'd like to show you in this wallet software is the transactions page. Now I don't have any transactions that I've, fin that I've completed in this wallet yet, but once you've made a couple of transactions, they'll show up here, so it's easy to keep track of what you've done in the wallet. 
By populating the label field of each address when you send and receive coins, it'll make it very easy to keep track of what's going on. If you don't set labels, it might get confusing, so I recommend putting a label on each payment and on each incoming transaction so that you know what's happening inside your wallet. The last thing I'd like to cover in this video is how to encrypt your wallet. This is very important because the wallet is actually a file on your hard drive, so if you have a virus on your computer, it might be able to read that file, read the private keys to your peer coins, and steal them from you. So let's look at that now. Click the Settings button at the top of the screen. Choose Encrypt Wallet. This is just like selecting a password from a third-party provider, such as your email online, except that an attacker who gets a hold of your file will be able to make as many guesses as he wants to try to crack open the file. An email provider will lock the account after a couple of wrong guesses, but if an attacker gets this file, they can just continually attack it until they crack it open. So you need to pick a very difficult to guess password. That ought to do it. You'll get a warning here saying you must remember this password. If you forget it, you'll lose the pure coins inside the wallet. So you might want to write the password down on a piece of paper and keep it in a safe place in your house. Pure Unity has to close in order to encrypt the wallet. After I click OK, Pure, Pure Unity will close and we'll be finished with this tutorial. That covers the basics of the Pure Unity wallet software. If you're interested in learning how to mint with your Pure Coins using Pure Unity, you can use this link right here in the video. If you have questions about anything you've seen here, you can post a message below this video in the comments or head over to the PureCoinTalk.org forums where there'll be people happy to take your questions. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.